Speak Abdullahi Abu hopes to be one of the new entrants to Ghana's ninth parliament on January 7, 2025. He has waited eight years at least to walk the talk, first with an official announcement of intent. Now 37 years old, the young man who has built a name for himself in Ghana's arts and entertainment sector says he has the right acumen to be taken seriously as a politician and one fit to represent the people of Okai Kwe Central Constituency. Well, I've always sought to have um, a silver lining of purpose um, and also impact society in a very good way. And that has accompanied me on all my entrepreneurial journeys. And so uh, this is what... Um, I'm sure compelled my constituents to call on me when they felt um, it was time to have a more younger, versatile, um, credible and competent young person um, to lead the development agenda and the creation of sustainable livelihoods for my constituents. But Sadiq's beginning are far from where he intend heading towards with university education from the African University College of Communications. He was host of popular entertainment show 30 Minutes on Varsat One in the early 2000s. Sadiq Abdullah Abu also started a popular show on TV3, 3 Music, that grew into 3 Music Awards and now a television station known as 3 Music Network. He is also founder of the Wilderland Festival and Foundation. Though he says he's not abandoning the entertainment sector, Sadiq now talks politics. He believes the voting parting of the constituency in the last election is indication of the constituency's readiness for an NDC representative. That the actual voter deficit isn't that much and could always be overturned. Um, it also indicates that the brand of the party in Okaku Central is very strong. Uh, this time around, I'm sure the party, the NDC party in Okaku Central, will find me um, a worthy parliamentary candidate and someone who resonates with all the four voting blocks in the constituency. The NDC is yet to win the Okaiku Central constituency seat since it was created in 2012. Patrick Yabuama, a lawyer, vice chairman of the Finance Committee, is currently member of parliament for the area. He has won the seat convincingly the past three elections. Sadiq, however, claims his MP has brought little progress to the constituency. He, as part of the ATMPs, will be mourning the lack of development. They will be mourning the lack of progress in the nation as a whole, including in his constituency. So quite clearly, as somebody that is a member, is, is a part of the government, a part of the ruling party, and a key member of the party in parliament, um, his views and that of the ATMPs on their government is quite reflective of where we are currently. The fact that we've not progressed and the fact that the lack of progress and lack of massive development is also reflective in this constituency as well. 94 new entrants were sworn in as parliamentarians in the 8th parliament, 34% attrition rate of the parliament before it. That attrition rate could increase as more new faces are announcing or contemplating to enter the legislature of 275 seats. This will likely push seven members out of the August House, a worrying trend that Majority Leader Osei Chemen Sabonsu and former Speaker of Parliament Mike Aaron Okwe have bemoaned. But Sadiq disagrees with this concern. Everybody that finds his way in Parliament, everybody that's selected by the people, that's chosen by the people, will have a particular value or not. It is not a fluke for anybody to come up to convince the internal publics of his party and then move on to convince the bigger publics outside of his party in the particular constituency to gain their mandate. That in itself is a certain skill and capability that can always be leveraged for good. You know, so um, I do not necessarily agree with them, uh, but most importantly, this is democracy. According to the Centre for Democratic Development, CDD Ghana, it cost an estimated $4 million to contest to BNP. Since that report, inflation has hit 54.1%. Sadiq tells me he has thought through this and is aware of the financial implications. The base of it, almost about 70 to 80 percent of the funding of the political activities will come from your own resources. And as somebody that has been there, done business and created um, um, a business out of too many things, too many ideas, I think I'm better placed to be able to put in my direct funds into it to start the process, of course. I mean, whoever shares in the dream and the objective and wants to help is always welcome. But of course, it has to be 
uh, with a certain genuine intention to having to lift the people um, um, up. The man who's currently pursuing a postgraduate LLB says there's more to him than just being an arts and entertainment entrepreneur. My skills, competencies, experience and insights goes beyond my work in the media and entertainment industry, cuts across in industries including ESGs, environmental, social, governance, law, um, cuts across economics, you know. And so I've got a, a well-rounded experience and all of these things will come in handy when it comes to the decision making that would positively impact uh, my people in Okakwe Central, most importantly, Ghana as a whole. His plans as MP would be to see to the livelihood of his constituents. Two most important things that has always been at the heart of my constituents has always been uh, the creation of sustainable livelihoods for the majority of young people that are in the constituency and the women. Um, most importantly as well, uh, they've always sought to have a certain level of social infrastructure development that's going to enhance their quality of lives. It is early days yet, and in politics, Two years is so long a time for a lot of dynamics. Sadiq is optimistic about his chances and his future in politics, but he'll first have to be cleared to contest the NDC's primaries when nominations are open, win the primaries and win the general election to be able to have a seat as MP for the people of Okaikwe Central constituency. Aisha Yakubuhale, TV3 News, Accra.